Hey guys, it's um, uh, Stardust Forever here. Um, let me see if this will focus. Um, I recently got an LED from uh, from a Paradise Arcade shop. Um, I was going to modify this. Um, oops. I was going to modify the uh, my uh, Pink Panther uh, joystick with a little bit of bling. Um, and uh, so I bought a, a hollow joystick, joystick staff, and a um, and a um, pink uh, LED from a Paradise Arcade Shop, and I'm not a happy camper right now, and I'm fixing to tell you why. So um, as we can see here, here is the um, here's the uh, LED with the uh, uh, series uh, resistor in it. Um, it glows up bright pink uh, when connected to um, to five volt source. And here is the heat shrink tubing that the um, that the, they put around the um, thing and as you can see right here the little um, they just wrapped uh, one uh, piece of heat shrink around both um, LED uninsulated LED leads and um, at first I connected it to a 5 volt adapter to test and the uh, the LED glowed nice bright pink um, and then I tried to um, and put it into the uh, hollow uh, joystick shaft so I could see what it would look like with my uh, 45 millimeter uh, Sumitsu uh, ball top and um, it didn't work and um, then I realized that I tested it with my meter and I found out that the uh, the leads were actually uh, shorted together and um, I'm very glad that I tested it uh, one more time before I installed it in my uh, joystick or the uh, regulator in my Atari would have went up in smoke. Um, so I don't know, they're only like 95 cents each and I don't know if this was in, done in some Chinese sweatshop or whatnot, but um, you never... Um, you never wrap uh, each lead in a in a uh, splice. It needs to be individually wrapped, and uh, this was not done here. And so um, I'm glad I caught this uh, before I destroyed my system uh, by uh, shorting out the uh, power supply. And um, I think uh, uh, people need to be made aware of uh, you know uh, cheaply made uh, mod products. So um, I've got some uh, I've got some electrical tape here, and I'm going to patch this up um, since I can't put heat sh shrink tubing on it without um, separating the uh, wires or uh, breaking the uh, solders. Um, so uh, I'll get back with you, and uh, we'll see how this looks when it's all done. Uh, thank you for watching. Hey YouTubers, I'm back. Um, as you can see here, I've got the shaft installed, and I'm trying to poke this little uh, this little light through the uh, hole. I've repaired it with electrical tape so that there's no uh, chance that these two wires are gonna um, come together. And so I'm gonna try and uh, stick this in here. And it doesn't look like it wants to go in. Okay guys, um, looks like I got it in there. Uh, it's nice and flush with the top of the uh, thing. So I'm gonna screw this uh, ball top on and uh, I'm gonna solder these, uh, I'm gonna solder the, the leads um, into the power pins on the joystick header and uh, we'll uh, See what this looks like all lit up. Uh, thank you for watching. Hey guys, uh, so here it is. Um, here's a little ball top. I'm all lit up. I had the little uh, little wire. I coiled it uh, to reduce uh, fatigue in the event that the uh, joystick shaft rotates, which it um, 
which it will most likely. Um, and uh, so everything's good now. Let's uh, turn off the light and uh, play some games. Thank you for watching.